The project is funded through the National Science Foundation uh, from one of its programs that supports uh, U.S. students to go overseas to engage in uh, research and educational experiences. So uh, we had this connection with Ghana. We had this, uh, this research problem of how do you uh, provide uh, potable water, uh, safe potable water in an inexpensive way uh, to, uh, to people in their homes. And that's what uh, Kabrab and Serena and, and Richard Blama in, in, in Ghana have been working on. So that was the, the scientific slash engineering problem that the, is the context for the whole project. And we spent about five weeks in Kumasi, Ghana. And so we were collaborating with the university there, KNUST, as well as a secondary school or a high school in Kumasi called Kumaka. And so what we learned is how to collaborate with um, secondary students. And on top of that, we also learned a bit of information such as water quality, the importance of water, sanitation, um, the importance of sanitation, and how to not only teach students the importance of these, but also how to apply it. When we started uh, discussing about this uh, project idea, we came up with this uh, water sanitation and hygiene. And most of the time, the solutions were technology-based, but we realized that, of course, this helps, but it doesn't solve the whole problem. So we need to come up with a collaborative uh, engagement where we include engineering, sustainability, and education professors and students to work on this complex problem. The students from USF went into the classroom, worked with the students to build prototype biosand filters, uh, worked with them to develop uh, research questions, taught them how to do various measurements to measure concentrations of turbidity and uh, enumerate bacteria in the influent and effluent, collect water from local streams, to charge these filters in the classroom, and to every day carry out research um, and collect data and to tabulate the data, present the data, so basically participate in the project as authentic science researchers. We connected students from Texas to the students in Kumasi. We did it through like a projector and we basically like Skyped the people in Texas because they were also doing a biosand filter project like we were and we just had them explain to each other their projects and what they found and something that I thought was really interesting was that the students in Texas were doing stuff with pumps and with 3D printers and like all this crazy stuff and like had really fancy looking machinery um, but their data was not I would say as good as ours their turbidity was a lot higher different results were significantly worse than the ones that we did while we were using like plastic water bottles and PVC pipe so I think my teaching philosophy or how it will affect my careers I'll no longer focus on like the fancy and shiny things but try to see on what's practical and what people can actually access. From participating in this project I learned how to do research internationally. I learned how to adapt to cultures in order to succeed in your research because being in Ghana was an environment that I was not exposed to and learning to teach students that environment we must be accustomed to their way of life and way of thinking as well. So I learned that through international research you also have to adopt to the culture in which you're working in. These experiences will definitely impact my future career as a professor. I am interested in science curriculum leadership development and having the opportunity to engage in research in a different culture has really refined my ideas of what qualitative research could be and it has developed my cultural competency in the areas of authentic science research. One of the things that we've seen in previous projects is that it can help to engage uh, secondary sc uh, school students in the projects because then they gain a knowledge about how to use it, of how to maintain the technology, especially if it's simple technology like the biosand filters. Plus, they go back to their community, go back to their families, they go back to their relatives 
and they have the knowledge about how to use it and why to use it. And so it can also um, result in a change in people's everyday use of the technology.